Okay, it's time for another geolocation lightning round. I'm just going to skip the preamble here, guys, because I've got eight different videos that I'm going to try to get done here, so I'm going to talk really fast. You asked me to figure out where this video is recorded, and we can see a few different signs here that tell us that you're approaching exit 125 for Winfield Road, which is for Warrenville and Winfield. You're driving west on I-88 in Naperville, Illinois. Here's the view from the beginning of your video, and here's a shot of one of the signs we saw. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, and I struggled a little bit at first until I noticed that there's a sign on the bridge. It identifies it as the Elmer C. Huntley Central Ferry Bridge. You're driving northwest on Washington State Road 127 in Peyton, Washington. Here's a Google Street View photo that matches your approach to the bridge. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, and I could see this sign on the fence here that says Grant's Farm and has a URL. That told me that this was St. Louis, Missouri, and that you were driving southwest on Route 30. Here's a photo that matches the beginning of the video, and here's one that matches the end. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, and I could see signs for this exit from Mount Gilead. It didn't take me too long to figure out that you were driving northeast on Interstate 71 in Marengo, Ohio. Here's a view that matches the beginning, and here's a view of one of those signs. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, and I knew that this bridge would be a highly photographed subject. Google image search returned tons of results, and they were all pointing to Chattanooga. There are actually four bridges over the Tennessee River here. From west to east, they are the Al Jadi Memorial Bridge, which is not visible in your video, the Chief John Ross Historic Draw Bridge, which is the one far in the background of your video, the Walnut Street Pedestrian Bridge, which is the main bridge in your video and the one that the Google results matched, and the Veterans Memorial Bridge, which is the one that you're on. Here's a Google Street View photo that matches your video. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, but we can clearly see that it says South County Detention Facility here. It also identifies the county, and I couldn't quite read it, but if I typed in South County Detention Facility, and then I started to type TU, Google finished it so that I knew that it was Tulare County. You're at the South County Detention Facility in Porterville, California. By the way, when you tagged me, you noted the time when you tagged me and wanted to see how long it would take, but it's not like I was going to drop everything and do it right then. But for anybody who's keeping score, this one took me very little time at all, like 10 seconds. It has taken me far longer to explain it than it did to find it. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, and as this gentleman rolls up his window, we can see a reflection in the window. From the reflection, I could see that there was a Parker Chevrolet dealer across the street. Parker Chevrolet is in Ashburn, Georgia. Here's a Google Street View photo of the dealer. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, and I can see the Nebraska license plate. I can also see that it says Lexington Fire Department on the truck once you're inside the building. You're at the Lexington Fire Station in Lexington, Nebraska. Here's a Google Street View photo that matches the beginning of your video. That's all for now, guys. If anybody else wants me to figure out where one of their videos was recorded, please tag me in a comment on that video.